Hey, we're here at the Norwalk U-Haul store. There's Bill with a sweet hat. And uh, this is his truck. Big day. Big here we go. Frenzy. I'm gonna follow him. Okay, this is pretty much pretty much everything between Bill and I. That might not be exactly right. There might be a lot more shit. This is like all my stuff right there. And right there. These I have too much clothing. That's a bag of clothes. That's a bag of clothes. That's a bag of clothes. And that red one's a bag of clothes. Plus other stuff. There's my gig bag for my Martin acoustic. That's full of shit right now. And uh, there's a few of my instruments. Tripod. This is a gas mask from Ground Zero, the air filter. There's a thing of quinoa, guitar stand. To be honest, I don't really know what's in that plastic tub. It's a bunch of stuff though that I'm gonna use. A lot of stuff I brought here and uh, I didn't have to unpack because they already had a bunch of dishware and everything, so I just left it boxed, thank God. And then this is uh... We got a bed. Oh, I got an air mattress in there too, which is fucking so nice right there. That was my bed in Ohio. These things are great. So good. Now I'm gonna clean these chairs off. In that a car is William Ottman. Less pointing, more driving. OMW to New York City. I'm about to pay a toll, dog. Okay, I'm gonna just drive and be safe. See ya on the flip side. Haha, <laughs> cause I got a flip camera. You sexy thing. I can't whip my head too fast cause I'm driving. I noticed one time I was driving and... Actually, I think one time I was in the passenger seat and I bent my head so far, like a stretch, and the world, the perspective of the world just like bent so far that the driver was like, whoa, I think. I think that happened. Yeah, I just crossed the Whitestone Bridge and it smells like garbage. I guess that's my fault for spending so much time out in the clean woods. Just got, I mean, I keep smelling like perfume and trees and flowers, but I got a nice strong whiff of garbage as soon as I cross the bridge. All right, continuing on. Nice, all right, well, the place. Heading up the steps. We're going up. One way. We're going up. We're never straight to heaven. Down. Yeah, it's the fifth floor. Oh. Nope, this is it. Oh, it's the fourth floor. Fourth. Hell yeah. In we go. This is what sweat looks like. Feels nice in there. Two more loads. We forgot pots. We brought everything but pots. And there's no brick here. No bricks. I, I would love to have a brick wall. I'd love to have a brick wall and these linoleum floors. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. The problem is you, you got to get, I mean, really wood floors are probably the best thing you could get. So, right. you know, maybe take, we could overlay wood on this. Well, that might be a good idea. We could it get some wood put in and get a dishwasher put in. Yeah. Yo, why didn't they give us any windows? I don't know. You know, I, I can't stand looking at fucking brick all day. What, is, like, is this a cell? Well, we're in the basement, so.
Which I'm pissed because when we were moving in, they told us we had windows here. Oh no, that was the last place I was at. We're probably going to start breathing radon and like carbon monoxide. I wonder, I, you probably can't get much oxygen down here. That's pretty good. But you'd like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, really, I don't really need much oxygen. But it's the radon I really like because that makes you big and strong. Mm hmm. Is there any way to mainline radon? Yeah, you just um, put it in your soup. And then, um, you can buy like radon powder? Mm hmm. You sprinkle it in, you add salt, and then you just get a needle and stick it in your neck.